is Roman Catholic Bishop Joseph Strickland. Your Excellency, good to see you again, as always. Uh, I, I want to start off with this. It's a stressful time, okay? Many people of faith, they struggle with their decision-making in these contentious elections. What's your advice to them about how to approach this important choice on Election Day? Well, uh, as you say, it is a stressful time. And I think for Christians, uh, Catholics, and other uh, parts of members of the Christian community, we first need to pray um, to calm ourselves, to refocus, to look at what we truly value, and let that be the lens we use for the choice to vote. I urge people to vote. I think it's a responsibility as well as a privilege mm -hmm. to help select the leaders of our nation at the very top mm -hmm. of an administration and all yeah. the leadership. So I would say pray, pause and pray, and then look at the national security needs, the just the good of the nation. Yeah. Because basically what we're faced with is re-electing the present administration, which in many ways would be even more uh, against life, more anti-Catholic, more anti-faith. So is it re-electing the present administration or choosing a different path? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we need to pray and then to really look at those values. Your Excellency, Vice President Harris had a, a, a run-in of sorts with a couple of people of faith at a recent rally of hers. Two pro-life student uh, attendees at one of her rallies uh, shouted, Jesus is Lord and Christ is King uh, in Wisconsin. This is what she had to say. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Your Excellency, this is not the party of John F. Kennedy anymore. This is the party of moral relativism and militant secularism and transcultism. Why is it so hard? for many Catholic leaders, including the Holy Father, to, to, be, to be more forceful in sort of calling that out as we get closer to this decision-making? Well, I think there's a, a lot of fear of being called political, um, but everything's been politicized, really. And rather than looking to the political world, just start with the values that the gospel of Jesus Christ that's the platform that we have to operate from. And it's very clear. I mean, we need to pray, but we need to see clearly. We need to open our eyes. And that last clip, you know, how can there be any real other choice? We wish the choice was stronger. We wish that the pro-life stance of either party was better. But I guess my advice is vote. Uh, use your Christian faith as the lens to choose for the best of the nation, for the sanctity of life, for all of our values. And then when hopefully we get the best choice we've got, not perfect, but the best choice we've got, then we have to stay engaged yeah. and help the administration to really get this nation back on track. I mean, the yeah. world is on a collision course with disaster that is frightening to many. I yeah. think that's why as you said, we're troubled, but yeah. that's why I think the best advice is to begin with prayer. Yeah. Connect with God. Remember who is the Lord of truth, and let that guide you. But make the choice of a vote. We need Christians. I've heard yeah. people say that Christians are just stepping away from the election process. That's the last thing we need to do. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Terrific words, and we're going to have to leave it there. From Bishop Joseph Strickland, Your Excellency, thank you so much. We always appreciate you making time for us. Thank you. God bless. God bless.